Task 10, we have two algorithms. The second one sorts a list in order, but the first in this video will look at finding the minimum value in the list. This is how to learn Scratch programming language. The Scratch program language is free, fun and easy to learn. Most program languages are text-based, so a learner has to gain experience writing the code. But Scratch program is easier as it uses blocks. The learner selects blocks, puts them together and runs the program in a simple way, making it the most fun and easiest way to learn programming. We start off by deleting the cat and creating a new sprite which will use the wizard. So let's select the wizard. Now we only need um, one of the costumes, the third costume, so we can delete the first and second costume. And let's go back to our code. Now we want to make it smaller, so we can try, let's try 10, that's a bit small. Let's try 25, that's okay. So let's move him over to the left. Now we want to create a list. So let's make a list. Let's call it grade list. So, okay that. So now we have a list. Let's move it so the wizard is pointing to the list. Now we're gonna start off, uh, once we click the green flag, let's make that bigger. We're gonna start off by deleting anything that's in the list before. So make sure the list is empty to start off with. So let's look for delete all from grade list. So now we need to add things to the list. So we can use a loop and we're going to add uh, five random numbers. So we can use repeat five and we need to go to our operator to pick random numbers between one and 100. So let's change that to 100. So now when we run that, we get five numbers between one and 100. That's fine. So let's uh, move our blocks and now we're going to, when we click on the wizard, we want the wizard to say the numbers. So when the sprite is clicked, now we want to make a variable name index and that will tell us where in the list that we are. So we want to set the index to one and then we're gonna have a loop and then when we repeat five times the length of the list, then we can go to the index number two, three, four and five and then the wizard can say them. So we need uh, a looks and say, and then we want the list value of the index. So the value in one, the value in two, the value in three, the value in four and five, which will be index. So that's say item index or grade list, and then we can change the index by one. Okay, so let's try that click on the wizard, let's go green flag first, click 58, 56, 83, 6 and finally 94. Okay, so what do we do now? We need to create the button to find minimum. So we first of all create the button, we need to add some text, we're going to write find minimum or find min, M-I-N. <laughs> Text doesn't appear at first, but don't stress. If we just change the color to black, it, then it is there. So let's look at the fill and change it to black. And now we can see our writing. And if we click on the arrow, then we can move it into our button. And then if we go to our area, we can put the button in the down the bottom and then we go back to our code. Now what do we want to do now? Well we want when this is clicked we need to broadcast. 
So we want to broadcast a message so the wizard knows we want to find the minimum. So let's find broadcast and create a new message of find min or minimum. Okay. So now we can go back to our wizard and we need to when the uh, find minimum is broadcast, when I receive find minimum, we want to find the minimum. So how are we going to do that? Well, we can start off with a variable minimum, minimum index. So what we're going to do here is we're looking for the minimum value, but we're going to store where it is. So for example, the minimum value 6 is in the index 4. So we set minimum index to 1, which is the first place, and then we're going to check place 2, 3, 4 and 5 to see if the value in those places is less than the first value. So in this example we'll go down to 58, down to 6, and then once it gets to 6 we know that's the lowest number. So we set minimum index, we've got a repeat length of grade list, so now we want to see, we want to get the value in the first place, so we can use the index 1, and then we need to check to see if that value is, when we go through our list, we want to see if the value is less than that, what we, the, the minimum that we've got already. So let's add the uh, minimum index, so we're looking at the item with the index and now we need to get minimum index so we're looking at the index is where we're looking through the list and minimum index is the place of the lowest value so we go through our list we're going to change one we're going to change minimum index to the uh, index if it's lower. So once we get a, a number that's lower than what we have already then we just change the minimum index to that index. So we start off index is 1, then we're going to change index by 1 so it's going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and if the value's in that place then we change the minimum index to that number. If that makes sense. So let's say the item of the minimum index at the end because that's going to and we write minimum equals put that in a join so let's put the value the lowest value in there so let's look at the code here we can swap over the index minimum index and we can set the index to be after the minimum index which will be handy when we sort the list so we can set the index to be minimum index plus one the place after the minimum index which we'll use when we're sorting the list the second part of this task so we're going to change the length of the repeat to length of grade list minus 1 because we don't need to go through every element so just let's move that and put that in the repeat so now we have our repeat of length minus 1 so let's try that we've got 6, 43, 25, 55, 96 click find minimum and the answer is 6 so that worked good. Try it again. 14, 48, 40, 63, 31, find minimum, 14. Try it again. 80, 15, 55, 36, 63. Will we find 15? Yes, we do. So that's good. So now what we need to do, we need to animate where the minimum index is and we're going to do that using an arrow so let's to start off with we're going to draw an arrow so let's change the thickness and here we have a red line and then we're going to draw the head of the arrow 
So let's draw going down, draw going up. Let's move that so it's, it's an actual arrow. And then let's put that to the first element in the list. So if the, if the lowest number is in place 1, we don't have to move the arrow. So let's just uh, write minimum or min. Let's change the colour so we can actually see it. There's the writing and then perhaps move it a bit closer to the arrow. So click on the arrow, move the text and then we can see in our area we have the arrow pointing to the first place. Now what happens if the minimum's in a different place, not the first place? So we need to be able to move the arrow down. So we can broadcast find minimum. So once we found a minimum we can broadcast animate min. Okay. So once we broadcast that, then the arrow knows it needs to move. So once we receive animate min, so when I receive animate min, now we need to calculate how much with the arrow is going to move. So we can start off by saying, well, where is the arrow at place one? So if we look to our, well, we can create a variable because we want a variable to say, how far we're going to move. So we can call this vertical spacing. Oh dear, that's not typed right. So vertical space spacing. So that's going to be the difference between index 1 and index 2, 3, 4 and 5. So first of all we hide our arrow and then we're going to show it once it's moved and we're going to place it well, the X is going to be the same, it's the Y that's going to change. So we know go to X, we're going to keep it at minus 29, but now we've got to calculate Y. So Y is going to equal where it is now, plus or minus the vertical spacing. So we need to calculate how much we're going to move the arrow down, which is going to be um, the Y minus a certain amount. So let's have a look at our minimum index. So that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4 or 5. And we're going to multiply that by let's say about 10 or 20 and that's going to be taken away from y. So we start y at 120 and then if we're going to minus about 20 to 100 and then minus another 20 to 80 then another 20 to 60 that will move our arrow down to the place of the minimum index. So we start off at the top, y will go down as we move the arrow down, so we just need to work out the difference between 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and multiply that by the vertical spacing. So let's use vertical spacing, so we're going to say minus 24 so that's going to be times by the minimum index and actually uh, we could let's try the let's try y at 120 so we can change it so the vertical spacing is at the top and then we multiply the 20 difference by the minimum index that way we can work out where the Y is. So let's just change that. So you'll notice we will change the green block so it's vertical spacing minus we'll change to 22 times by the minimum index. I think actually we need to start the arrow at zero if you like at the top of the list so then it's going to be multiplied by one two three or four and the difference. So let's try that so here we've got find minimum is 7, so we go down to 7. Let's try again 50, so it moves down to index 3. And try again, place 1, find place 1. There you go. Okay, so that worked. 
Now, if you're interested in learning more or learning other programming languages, then please subscribe. And every time a video comes out, if you hit that notification bell, then that will let you know. So, enjoy your learning.